Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how I make my roses. So let me show you. These are the roses that I've been working on. Let's see here. They're not baked yet, so. As you can see, they're all different because I'm making them. My daughter's make, helping me. So these are the roses that I've done right now. I tried to do a little one, but yeah, that one's not working too well. Um, I did a really big one. Now, how do I get that? Well, let me show you. Okay, so I was using Fimo FX, and Fimo FX is really hard. It's really hard. I mean, I'm like putting pressure on it. You can see the white of my fingers. It's really hard to, to mold. <clears throat> so what I had done with this, um, I had done some blue ones, is I actually beat it with a, a roller, and it got soft, and I was able to make it. Now, someone told me to get female soft. I did have some female soft, and I bought it on clearance. I paid $1.97. However, I think it's really old. Because if you can see, I squeeze it and nothing is happening. It is hard. So this is something that I think I'm gonna also have to beat just so I can work it. This is new, this is a Sculpey. And it is really soft, even from the package, you squeeze it and it like, it all squeezes together. So what I did was I grabbed chunks of it, obviously, and as I grabbed chunks, I started making balls. The bigger your ball, the bigger flower is going to be. So I made, um, I, I did the ball so you guys can see, you just put make a whole bunch of balls, at least six or seven of them, depending on, um, and my daughter's been helping me, depending on how, you know, how many you wanna have. So what I did was, once the balls are done, you're going to grab one and you're gonna squeeze it. And as you're squeezing it, you're kinda of like just flattening out the edges so it's not so thick and it just becomes just an odd shape. If you think about it, it looks like a petal. Oops. And I cut in half. you keep doing that to all the all the balls. until you have, like I said, the six or seven petals, if you will. The reason I say that is because I've done some with six, I've done some with seven. It all depends the size of your petal. Some come out really pretty, some come out really odd looking. But since they're all going to, to one spot, it's no big deal. But as you see, I'm just squeezing the edges, kind of doing like, you know, just flattening it out so it's not so thick. Um, let me do one, uh, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. I have one, I have four. So here is five. And then we're going to do six. I'm only gonna do six and see how it goes. All right, so I already have this color due because I'm gonna do this one as well. Looking at these, I'm going to use my ugliest petal, I guess you could say. I'm gonna pick this one. No, this one's actually pretty. I'll use this one. It came out smaller than the rest. And all we're going to do is just start folding it. I pinched it from the bottom. And here is your center. Just wanna pull, give it a little bit of a petal shape here so it's not so closed. And this is going to be my petal center. Now I'm gonna get one of those um, petals that I did. And all I'm doing is right from the edge, as you can see, right from the edge, I'm just gonna lay it over. I covered it from this side and then I'm just opening it up a little and here is my first petal. Okay, it's pinched right here, so it's not moving. Gonna get another petal. 
do the same thing. See, this one's a little bit thick. Just squeeze it so it's not so, not so thick from the edge. Bless you. Actually, I'm gonna turn it because this side is a little bit thinner. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. Open it up. As you can see, I'm just giving my, my petals some shape. So it looks like a, a rose, you know? Now you can do this however you want, as close as you want, as far away as you want. I have two already. Now I'm gonna do one in between both. I'm gonna do it here. I'm folding it on the outside, you know, like away from the flower, and then I'm just kinda putting it on, folded already, and then I just, I'm just bending it. Since this is really soft, the female was harder, so to me, this is like extremely soft. I don't know if uh, Sculpty is that way. I went a little bit too low. I need to bring it up a little bit higher. Okay. My next one, same thing on the opposite side. And I'm just putting it on. You can see how the flower is forming and you can also see where you need petals because of the way I set it. So I'm going to put this one, which is the sixth one, here. But I'll be short one, so I have to make another. But like I said, that's why you want to make six or seven or, you know, some people like it like this. It all depends how you want your flower. Um, this is a really big flower compared to the other ones I did. You can see the, the size because my, my balls were, were bigger. So the, again, the size of your ball is going to be defined by the size of your rose. And once I have all of these, I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna put it to bake. Um, the Sculpty said to bake it at 275. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And since these are just like, you know, your handmade flowers, you can really put it however you want. You know, you, you can uh, make them really close. You know how you can make a little uh, tulip or something? So, yeah, you just have fun with it. Or, if, you know, you could just make just one, one petal at a time and make it like a full rose instead of it being sideways on the long, since these are kind of long, you could do it the lengthwise so the petals are, are shorter. It's all up to you, however you wanna do it. But yeah, this is the, the way I, I've been doing my flowers. Some are smaller and I just stick them in there. You only see the top anyway. And here we go. And see, and here's another flower that I just did. So have fun and enjoy making your own clay flowers. Thanks for watching.